One of the areas in guitar building that I seem to derive the most satisfaction and frustration from is the creating of the inlays. Last year on this guitar, the No Idea, I sunk my logo into the 12th fret using wafer thin abalone. This year on the bass I used recycled copper piping and recycled electrical cable and some of the abalone to create an entirely different design. So, um, enjoy. My intention for the fret dot markers was to use some microbore copper piping that I have lying around. Um, this was used to be used in heating systems, although it's pretty much not used anymore. Um, I created a drill bit from this same copper piping, just filed the ends a bit rough. Um, the problem with this method is that if you use it without a guide it can the drill bit can wander so what I did was I drilled a matching size hole in a piece of aluminium and as you can see here I clamped it firmly to the fretboard this worked remarkably well at keeping the fret dot markers central on their appropriate points As you can see here, the drill bit isn't wandering at all. So, would definitely recommend this method. Provides a very clean hole, that's for sure. I created a Celtic knot design for the 12th fret inlay and routed it out to what I thought was a deep enough level with the Dremel. I then tidied up the carving with my little carving chisel. Using electrical cable for uh, the inlay material, the main inlay material. So I cut all the bits to size, bent them where they needed to be. I'm pretty certain at this stage that. Um, I hadn't routed the channels deep enough. As you can see, some of the wire is standing quite proud of their positions. Once I was finished, I stuck them to a piece of packing tape in order to maintain the position of each piece in its rightful place. Although that said, I'm fairly sure I put one or two of them in in the wrong place, but you know, it looks all right, so. A bit of paper clip, some super glue on a bit of wood. Just going through and carefully positioning each one. method I will definitely be making a deeper channel um, 
I lost a lot of material in the filing out and as you can see it really just looks like some of those pieces are sat on the surface of the fretboard. As you can see, um, where the wire is thinner following the filing down, that is where the channels were not deep enough. You can see that the top section here is a good finish, as is most of it, but as soon as we look at the bottom section here, you can see that the entirety of the bottom loop, well, it's missing. I did redo that. Here's a brief montage of me filing the neck because we've all seen that before. I then had to remove the center section of each of the drilled fret dot markers to allow for the abalone. I then went through, knocked in some copper pipe. so it has to be sunk into super glue. You have to be very careful with it because it snaps easily. But it files up nicely and polishes nicely. And it looks great when you're done. I think I actually managed to get it to a bit shinier than this, but this is fairly fresh off finishing. the grain and the difference between the inlays and the wood. Fret slot cleaning. Now, I may have mentioned before that I actually managed to delete my entire folder of video for this build series and whilst I was able to recover the vast majority of it, certain important bits are missing. Now one of those important bits is me putting the frets in. So yeah, that's a thing. So here's some lovely shots of the frets in, but you can see how well those abalone, abalone inlays are popping. Side dots, again using copper wire process, drill, glue, cut, file. So that's about it for this week. 
in the next video we'll be covering the construction of the body. Not entirely sure I'm going to be able to get that out in the next week, but we'll see. In the meantime, hit like, hit subscribe, and if you want to see more, tickle that notification bell. The music you've been listening to is Starshine from my album Tumble Down. That's available on Bandcamp, and hopefully it's on Spotify at some time soon. Um, but you can also hear it on YouTube as well. Links are all in the description below. Anyway, have a great week, and uh, I'll see you on the next video.